Hey, hey guys. Glad everybody's out there uh, in the chat. I see Kimberly. I see John. I see Ristol. Uh, I believe Moon's out there floating around. Yep, I see Moon. And welcome everybody to a fun little uh, Truth of Temple here where uh, Brandy is obviously on her way back home from the uh, uh, Alabama Bigfoot Conference. So I'm without Brandy. So I've got me a, a special guest that's going to be helping out today a little bit. And we're going to be talking about it, about some stuff that she's brought up, she's been able to find, and she's going to bring it to me. And I've got a couple that I found on the uh, on Facebook with our several of the Haunted Texas uh, uh, groups that are out there. We are, I'm talking with several of them that have evidence that we want to go over and I've, over the next few weeks we'll probably have people in to go over their evidence and yes we'll probably have kimberly there in in the next week or so as well so we're gonna bring up my special co-host as y'all know her in chat that would be aggie bell the young the ah, there she is there it comes well you got jerky <laughs> internet over there in england don't you Yep, especially at night. Okay. Our internet is not the best. Well, yeah, I mean, you're at what, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock right now? Yeah, it's 11. All right, so we got Ristol out there. I see uh, we've also got, who's there? We got uh, Choo -choo -choo Hair Force. Hey, Hair Force, how we doing? I'm going to get him in there eventually, Hair Force. I'll get you up here to talk about some pictures as well one day. But before we get really going, we're going to go ahead and run through the whole lineup for the uh, front porch family real quick. Uh, usually right now you at five o'clock on Sundays, you have us, uh, Truth of Temple, me and Brandy. Uh, at um, seven o'clock, you'll have Infamous of Mine. Uh, I know Danielle will be there tonight, supposedly, and uh, it's going to be covering some of the darkest minds of, of Infamous Minds. Tomorrow night, uh, we have the Diva Dimension at seven o'clock central. These are all central times, just to let everybody know. And after that, 8.15, you have Texas Front Porch, which I'm assuming they'll be covering pretty much everything that happened at the, at the conference in Alabama this weekend. Uh, Tuesday night, you got Beyond BMR. He's at uh, 8 o'clock that night. And on Wednesday night, you have Donnie Cho Says Stuff. He's also going back from the conference as well. He's at 7 o'clock on Wednesday night. Then you got Barton, uh, Barton Nunley's uh, in Humanoids with Barton Nunley, Nunley at, uh, at 8 o'clock on Wednesday night as well. Thursday night, You've got the Blondes and the Booze podcast. They start theirs at 8 o'clock, I do believe, that night. There's a normal podcast. And then at 10 o'clock, you've got Our Paranormal World with Monica Rollins. Friday night, you've got the Blondes, Booze, and the Woo podcast. That comes on at 7. Whereas, and then, of course, behind that, you got Josh Turner's uh, Paranormal Roundtable. They come on at about 8 o'clock, uh, 8 to 8.30, I do believe. And then on Saturday night, we don't have a whole lot of anything going on. But our friend uh, Paul Anthony, Paranormal Paul, he's got uh, Paranormal Among Us podcast is on that night on Saturday nights as well. Sunday, start it all back over again, and here we go again. So so how's it going over in England? Um, it's fine. It's not as rainy as it used to be. Is it... Uh, is this is it like raining over there or is it hot over there right now? It's pretty warm right now, but we're getting a cold front tonight and then tomorrow tomorrow. We've been in the high nineties. Uh heat heat tent or uh, heat index has been in the hundreds and it's been very humid tomorrow. I don't think we're supposed to get out of the eighties. I think it's gonna be mid to low eighties actually tomorrow here in the DFW area. So yeah, it's been warm over here. Uh humid because no one has AC. <laughs> No one has AC at all. Huh? I literally had to buy fans for every room. Wow. Okay. I'm trying to get and a whole bunch. I'll tell you about our crazy neighbors later. Oh, we, we, we'll get into that for sure here in a little bit. So, but anyway, all right. So we're going to look at, we got a couple of things that's happening. Uh, there's Moon. Moon, he lives in Scotland, he said. And y'all were just there. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, Moon, by the way, I want to, I want you to look at this, this young lady right here when, my entire family went over to get her dinner first semester abroad and they went through Scotland and the Highlands and sent me videos of them riding on Loch Ness. So 
my bucket list just got kicked in my face. So, yeah, I don't like none of my family anymore. Well, so. maybe you should have come, too. There's a big maybe. Big maybe. <laughs> All right. But you we couldn't get you out. Sure we got it. If we brought you there, you couldn't leave. Yeah, I mean, uh, that, that was one of those things that... That would be an AWOL prevention is what it would be for me, you know, because if I get over there, I may never come back. <laughs> I'll go up up into the highlands and y'all just have to come find me someday, you know. But that'd be it. I'd be done. I would probably never come back, but it is what it is, though. So you found this 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 EVP we're about to go over. OK, and I'm, I, I apologize. I'm going to try and make sure this EVP can actually be heard by you guys. If you cannot hear it when I start it, please let me know. I need to figure out. Why? Because she can't hear it. But the last time I did an EVP, everybody else could hear it except for my co-host. So <laughs> I just want to make sure everybody's covered on it. All right. So give us a little bit of a background on this EVP. Um, so basically it was one that I had found that a lot of uh, uh, articles I was looking at were calling it a classic EVP. Um, and it was hey, recorded in again? 2005. Oh, classic uh, oh, they were classic. putting classic. Okay. Yep. Um, and it was recorded in 2005 and had um, aired on a podcast or a radio show called Coast to Coast, which I assume that some people might have listened to it. Yeah. Every, a lot um, of people here probably have heard of it. Coast to Coast with Art Bell. Yep. Um. And I was looking into the place as well, and it was recorded in the Exchange Building in Oregon, Utah. Orgden, Utah. Ogden, Utah? Something like that. <laughs> I know how to spell it, not how to say it. Yeah. Ogden, Utah. Um, and it originally was built as part of the, part of the stockyards. Um, okay. And supposedly then became a mental hospital and there okay. there's a bit of um debate on what is a fictional backstory because afterwards it became a tourist haunted house and so there's a bit of back and forth of what is the true history of it and what's uh fictional for the tourists mm -hmm. um but supposedly this evp was recorded uh, towards the end of the building with uh, a laptop that was just let record there. Yeah. Um, and they couldn't really figure, I can't even think about a way to properly make it a hoax at all, like how to fake it. Uh, but it's just a very eerie, uh, a very eerie, EVP. Hopefully, you'll be able yeah. to hear it if the, well, yeah, the audio and, decides to work. But when you when you were actually uh, working with it, or when you were bringing it down on the actual EVP self itself, I, I didn't hear in the in the bit that I that I had with actually with the actual interview with the 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 group that the guy that caught it. I don't think he ever heard it until mm -hmm. they went back through. Obviously, right? Yeah, because it was left alone. So they haven't, they didn't hear anything. There was no other people in the building, definitely not children in the building. And there wasn't anything that could make the water sounds that are in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and just as a heads up, when you, when you guys, if, if it goes through like we want it to, you're going to hear splashing water. There has been no water to this building in 20 years. So there is no water at all in the building. Um, and I will say, supposedly there are claims, though it hasn't been fully confirmed, that in a canal nearby, um, a boy had drowned. Um, alternatively, people had said that there's also a well in the basement of the building. So yeah. there, there's just a, a little bit of debate on where this could have even originated from as like a residual haunting. Yeah, I understand. So... I'm going to bring this up and y'all tell me if you can hear it at all and we'll see if we can get this thing going right. So, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good ball. Good for the boss. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, here we go. We're going to take a look at this real quick. 
Now tell me what you guys hear on this. Okay, before I go any further, did everybody hear the actual, so you haven't heard anything on that end? This is where I have the issue with the, the EVPs. It's hard to get them to come across here. That's why I need to figure out mm -hmm. what's going on with this. I get some people that can hear them and some people that can't. That's my biggest issue, so. Let's see here. There's got to be. All right, so what, what we're hearing right now there is a child's voice in the background. It, it first it sounds like it's saying "help me," but then it sounds like it's saying "can't breathe." Here, let me see if I can send the at least uh, the clip well, in the chat. Yeah, send a link to the clip so people can hear it, and I could probably try and share it that way as well because this this is one of those that you you really have to hear it to to know anything, and it. For whatever reason, it doesn't want to play on this one. Let me see. I'm going to try and bring it up in an audio software and see if I can bring it. You can hear it that way real quick. And that was my audacity or my. Let's see here. If we can get the audacity come up and make it actually work with it, we might be able to get it through there. And you could actually see. Uh, I forgot that in. YouTube's updates, they decided to uh, not let you share links in comments. Oh, really? Well, that's probably a bad thing. Then, yeah. So. Okay. Well, guys, keep a, keep a, a track of the community side and we'll have it on, in there too. So, but I'm going to try and get this part right here up just so y'all can see it. And you can see kind of where everything's at. Let me see here. Share screen window. There we go. I think I might have found it. Here we go. Now, I'm going to try and increase the amplitude here. See if I can get it to where you guys can actually hear it. Or so we hope. All right. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to do, do, do effects, amplify. We're going to bring it up a little bit. And let's see what we get here. All right, now, tell me if you guys can hear it now. Okay, how about now? Nothing still, right? Well, that's going to perturb me. One minute I can get an EVP to work on this thing, and another I can't, so. Uh, I mean, can you share, uh, like, your screen at all and then you could try playing it i don't know if you can share your desktop you know what I, I got an idea i got another idea we're going to go uh, we're going to go another way about okay, it but i may you... not be able to control it as well let's put it that way okay i'm trying Sorry, to answer, I'm, answer my uh, inter... hair force as well so internet being very warm right now Okay, I had to answer him as well for us real quick. So, all right. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload it into my let's see clips into music. Here we go. We're gonna add music. So now I'm gonna go find the clip right here, and I'm just gonna add it straight up as a clip, and then we'll play it. Now I will not have any control over this at all. Obviously, I don't think I may be able to pause it. I'm not for sure yet. We will see. It's it's an MP3, Kimberly. It's it's an MP3. It's just a, it's how you play it through StreamYard and to YouTube is whether or not the sound goes through properly is my biggest issue. So 
let's see what i can do right here it should be up all right here we go let's see if y'all hear it now all right let's let everybody decide for themselves here it is There it goes. I hear it. Okay. It's still not quite as loud as I'd like to have it, though. That's what I'd heard, Kimberly. At first, I heard help me. Now y'all hear that. I'm gonna let it continually go through, okay? Everybody heard that little bit about the, with the water, right? That sounds like somebody splashing. Now, as you can hear, Art Bell, he's going to re-bring these up and talk. Can't give breathe. His, yeah, you can't breathe. Can't breathe or help God right there. I don't know what this is. That low pitch, I don't know what that is. replays this water listen to art bell now all right let's let everybody decide for themselves okay it just they just looped on me so i at the end of that actually I, I cut it out but art bell comes back in and all he can do is go wow and give a sigh and see and he, and he signs it off from there and anybody that's ever watched or listened to art bell on coast to coast knows that actually it was a ghost cops Where you found it was it from Ghost Cops? Huh? No. Hair, uh, hair it was coast to coast. It was coast to coast, so it wasn't on Ghost Cops. But yes. you, 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 that Ghost Cops is one of them that you follow, right? Huh? I'm asking you. Huh? I said, are That's you, me? do you follow ghost co cops? No. Group? Okay. That's what I no. asked. I thought you were asking anyway. in the comments, man. Nope. I am. I'm still trying to work the comments as every, every, with everything else, but <laughs> that's become fun in of itself. This new boom mic gets right in my way. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. I find it funny All that right. it's the one thing that doesn't blur with your picture half the time. Okay, so we all we all kind of understand what we're hearing. We we all pretty much think that we're hearing somebody crying, a child crying for help. Is that that the way I'm understanding everybody? Everybody's hearing the same thing I'm hearing, right? I'm gonna play it one more time, and everybody chime in. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it when somebody chimes in and says something. Or well, I've got too much of a delay. There's about a six second delay here. So, oh, okay, ghost cop is not a thing. The dude that said he couldn't breathe. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll be quiet on that one now. <laughs> All right. Let's listen to this again. Here it is. Okay. So first I heard help me. And then maybe due to the suggestion of the, the host, I hear the, the can't breathe part, but both of it originally was help me, but it, the problem was, is it didn't sound like it had a lot of urgency in the voice. So. But I mean, okay, so to me, the voice sounds like it's um, tired. So like someone treading water for a while. Okay, like it they're about to go under, like, but. Yeah, like a last, last ditch effort. 
but here's the other part about that though if if this drowning child now if this is a drowning child supposedly and this is a former mental institution where would it be drowning is uh that's why i brought up that apparently there were claims that in the canal nearby a child drowned okay um, so we're talking about the canal nearby that's right okay yeah and alternatively people also have said that there is a well in the basement um yeah that that's yeah and then there could be I've as well people. and like Air Force says you know it could a bathtub you talk about bathtubs too i mean it could be something like that mm-hmm. but i don't the one thing i, I the only the only hole I could poke in it, even though there is a very creepy sounding help me or can't breathe, is that there's not really an urgency to the voice. But if if it's a, you know, if it's a residual, which is what I'm betting it is, judging from what I'm hearing, if it's residual, then they might have known they were in that much trouble until it was too late. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we'll continue on. Obviously, help me. Or can't breathe. One of the two right there. Okay. So. And then there. That low pitch. What is that low pitch? I've I've heard people debating on if it's like a deep voice saying murder. I don't really hear that. Uh, Uh To me, it it sounds like. um, Like when you put something under the water in the the glug of like a bubble coming up. Yeah. 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 And so, yeah, I could understand it being a bubble coming up. I mean, it, it's some of the blurb coming out at the last, the last gasp or something, or mm-hmm. it coming out after finally going under that last little bit. So, yeah. So, all right, we'll continue on again. And then it, there it comes back lower. Can't breathe again. Now, now I'm really thinking residual because now we've lost a little amplitude. So the residual uh, aspects of it is kind of got a little bit weaker is what I'm thinking there. All right. Continuing on. Mm-hmm. And then we hear it again with the low pitch. Now that, that was a whimper. That was almost like yeah. a little whimper there. Yeah. That so, the moment it gets to the whimpering parts, it always gives me chills. Um, yeah, well, that that would give anybody it, chills hearing that that last little whimper. The whole thing yeah. gives me chills because that's that's that that is a a very very good AVP. I can't believe I've, I've never heard it before. You brought it up, of course. You know, I've listened I listened to Coast to Coast a lot, but it was like I, I never took a whole lot of it for to you know. I took a lot of it for granted. I just kind of listened to it, you know, because it was something to listen to. I wasn't as big into it back mm-hmm. then either. You got to remember, this is 2005 when that was caught, and this probably hit the airwaves uh, coast to coast probably, what, 2010, 2012? So, because it's been gone, for, it's been gone for coast to coast. is still out there, quote unquote, but not the way it was. So. Yeah. Um, I had actually only heard it recently. Uh, too, when I was looking uh-huh. at different things of evidence, the the homework you okay. gave me, and considering that there were actually multiple articles about uh, calling it a classic EVP, I was actually surprised that it hadn't come up yet. And well, I, I hadn't seen it, but I was it. always whenever I go out looking for evidence, I don't really look for EVPs a lot because of the same issue that we're having right now with getting the sound through to everybody. Yeah, but and. And when you go out there and look for, you know, these these pictures that are out there, which we're going to go over one, and I'll I'll talk about the lady that gave or the people that gave it to me here in a little bit. But some of them out there, you just like, I, I don't know, I I don't know really, you know, it's just you go out and do a search for this, uh, go out and do a search for any paranormal evidence pictures that you want on Google. There's no telling what you're going to bring up. And everything, uh, 99% of it is all artist renderings. It's not an actual photo or an actual video or anything like that. So, yeah, and I'm, I'm with you, Moon. 
I, I do agree. I'm with that fact that that children I don't think could be ghosts either. Not not innocent children. But I don't think this is an actual ghost per se. I think this is a residual. Yeah. I believe this to be a residual. That, that's what I would think. Like, if, if there's child ghosts, they would be... So, like, a drowning is a traumatic death. Yeah. And so, definitely a residual haunting is what I would see would happen there. I I, I don't really believe that children can't be ghosts because I would think that a kid could be confused like and this is obviously this is all just yeah. guessing everyone's just guessing oh, in yeah. that regard i mean you but got like thousands of shows on youtube kid, now that are doing the same type type stuff just looking at stuff like this and giving their opinions yeah we won't even go into reaction videos on people everything from the you know the the, the guys from, you know, New York City down in the boroughs and stuff, you know, from Harlem and stuff, reacting to a Stevie Ray Vaughan video. I mean, and it, it's quite funny to watch sometimes because some of them are like, wait, I didn't know this guy could play, you know, type thing. So, you know, sorry, he can play. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, <laughs> there's, there's countless of them out there. And, you know, where we try to set ourselves a little bit different from it is we don't just take everything at face value. We want to know the we kind of want to know the story about it, but I want to know about the picture itself. Let's say that we got a picture or a video or an audio. I want to know the story behind it, but I want to hear and see it so I can actually look at the actual, um, the actual evidence itself and try and take it at its own face value and see whether or not we can pick it apart. Not necessarily what somebody else has already done before, but what we can do to pick it apart. Yeah. And right now, so far on this one, I can't pick nothing apart on this. Yeah, I don't even know how you could go about because yes, you can say that someone can fake like a child's voice or something like that, but how do you get the water to sound so like the only thing I can think if you actually set up a pool and we're splat around in it because a bucket isn't going to make those kinds of sounds. Well, yeah, um, I mean, they would have had to gone out of their way to do it, and if if we're to believe what the gentleman said in the interview that our bell did with him. If we're to believe what he said, then there's no, ex no explanation for what you're hearing at all. Yeah. So how and do you go about doing on, hmm? uh, Those two had been on coast to coast quite a bit actually. And we're pretty well known for the evidence they caught. Yeah. Uh, I tried finding any recent stuff, but they really aren't on too much social media to begin with. Well, and a lot they of were them, very much people who were doing it because they were passionate about it, not yeah. For don't want, don't care about the money or the recognition or anything. Which, as anybody can see, I'm not monetized. I can do whatever I want on here, and I'll tell you straight out, I'm not in it for the money. Not yet, maybe one day, but you know, it takes a long time to get to that point. You got to do a lot of work to get there, and. I'm not going to put that work in on it yet until I'm like 75 and I got nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, okay. So back to our, uh, our main EVP here. Now we've gotten through that. We've heard the, the little bit of the, the last little whimper there. And then, then we get to this. Something talking. Now, right before you start hitting the water, whatever I heard right there was not a child. That yeah. sounded like an adult. Um, I was thinking it sounded like uh like a, a grown woman. Hang on a second, I gotta I gotta get hair force on this one. Yep. Okay, so yeah, you're, and you're right, uh, Air Force. We got to remember that Art Bell also aired Mel's Hole and the Man Flying into Area 51 too. So, yeah, so you you can't believe everything you see, but this one, this one sounds more of a legit than anything I've heard out of, out of his stuff. So, now I wish this thing would let me actually work it on this. Unfortunately, I can't work it on this. So. Oh, and I can bring up, I'm going to bring up our volume here, okay? Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
okay so i'm sorry that's some something trying to stay afloat it don't sound like somebody's walking through water it sounds like somebody's splashing trying to stay afloat but it's solitary it's not a whole it's not several people it's solitary yeah so i uh, that one's kind of got me a little bit weirded out there but as we continue again and then the and thump. what's odd it it sounds almost like it's right at the audio like right at yeah. the microphone rather yeah. than like it, say if you set up a laptop uh and then you like say had this like whole hoax thing set up in the middle of the room uh, yeah, I, I, there would be like this distance, but this just sounds like the entire room is just water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It sounds. It sounds like there's running, not running water, but there's somebody in a tub of some sort. That's why I was leaning away from the tub or the uh, the canal thing because, quite frankly, that sounds like a tub. Yeah. I mean. Okay, now that he's going to get through that. Now that Nan will go back through and where he cuts and pay and works with the different spots. But what was you going to say? Um, I was going to say that if we do think of in terms of a tub, and if uh, the exchange building was made into a mental hospital, there was the whole hydrotherapy uh, that uh -huh. they put patients through. Okay, and my question could be in this pure purely theorizing. Uh, based on nothing except for my my thoughts of uh, my idea of how hydrotherapy and everything works. If there was like a child that was put through hydrotherapy and was left alone for too long. Exactly. Or same thing as well. Yeah. And then theoretically, that might also be the woman's voice as like a nurse or something like that. Yeah, this conducting the ice bath or conducting whatever therapy that is going yeah. on. Yeah, but that goes into pure speculation. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so uh, we're purely speculating all the way around on this anyway, so. Mm-hmm. But you know, as, as we go through it, and now we're gonna we're gonna listen to how he breaks down the different parts here. Well, he doesn't break it down, but how he separates everything up. So this is gonna cut out all the middle stuff. So okay, so right there, I don't know if it was help me or can't breathe. Now I always heard can't breathe. Okay, uh, and that was even, even before even, hearing his. But even with this with this part up now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this one more time just so I can help myself with this because I want to hear. Can't breathe. Again. It comes back. Okay. The annotation and enunciation of that phrase, the way it's being stated. Now we've already stated this is a former me me mental institution. That does sound like a mentally ill girl, i.e. Mm -hmm. a cerebral palsy. Uh, I won't say mental retardation, but, uh, you know, Down syndrome. Something. It sounds like there is a something that is causing her to have a thick tongue. Let's put it that way. Yeah. So now it's, it's helping me. Even worse. Sorry. No, you're good. Go ahead. Uh, even worse, if it's in the water, if they've been in the water for a long time, that can obviously cause uh, hypothermia and can even make it even more hard to pronounce if she can't, like, feel her lips or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, and Moon says he's, he hears an old lady. Uh, I, I don't hear the old lady. I hear more, like I said, but, you know, it, it could easily be an old lady. I just don't, I don't know mm -hmm. if sure if that really, of course, we're going to go through it one more time. I want to hear the whole thing one more time, just so everybody can hear it one more time. And Kimberly says, too, can't breathe. She's hearing can't breathe as well. So 
we'll finish this up right now. Now he'll go back and we'll hear that low pitch again. That last bit, I can't breathe. I hear that right before he starts to, to enunciate on it. Now you hear, I don't know what that is. I, I can't tell what that is. It's the deep um, voice. You, you know what I immediately thought of hearing that sound again still? What's that? Uh, you know in cars, tractor tipping. Oh yeah. Yeah, the when they when they get get the 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 tractors to go up and they brrr, boonk. Yeah. And like I said, I I I can't tell what that is, but it doesn't belong there, that's for sure. Yeah. It's something that sounds very off compared to everything else. Huh. Well, let's see what yeah, Kevin, it could be a demon, but I'm firmly in, in, in the belief right now that this is a residual of some sort. I don't think this is, a, is an active uh, uh, intelligent haunting. I believe this to be a full-blown residual. So, I mean, I can't, Kimberly, I don't know, dra something dragged across the floor. Maybe something got scooted right then. It's hard to say. I couldn't tell you. But, I mean, but then when we get to the point of this, this is the part that really tugs at the heartstrings. Can't breathe again. And then there's a low pitch, something or somebody or a movement. I, I don't know what it is, but it sounds like something is trying to be said there, though. Uh, actually, um, I, you know, when you're under the water and you, hear someone trying to speak above you. Mm hmm That's almost what I'm thinking the sound might imitate. Like, like somebody's after talking you said down it. to her. Yeah. Well. Well, let's see what the water sounds like one more time with it with it turned up like this. Yeah, can't tell. Can't breathe again, and then it's that's where they start. You start hearing the water. All right, let's let everybody decide for themselves. Here it is. That just it just rebooted back to the front again. Now, on that last one, you hear that last little bit of can't breathe before the water starts being hit. It's like all of a sudden she just realized I'm going under. Yeah. And then the and then they started splashing. Um, I probably should note that, uh, when he first started the whole, uh, like just before reading the EVP, he even gave yeah. a disclaimer that yeah. the audio would be disturbing. Yeah. And it's all on and, there. So, and I, I, Kimberly, I, I would say she couldn't breathe or whatever, but something doesn't ring true that that they would move something over there to get her when they've got or they should have had orderlies there that could have lifted her right out. So uh I I'm not for sure. Either way we uh, know that that's why that, I, what's that? Yeah. Oh, I was letting what? you finish your sentence first. Oh go ahead. Um okay so we can hear like almost an echo in the voice as well. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's the room or anything else, but say there was a well um, yeah. in the basement, like people claim, um, which wouldn't, I, I don't think that'd be that difficult to believe, especially if it used to be a stockyard. I would assume that they would have had yeah. like uh, a well. Um, yeah. It could make sense. Like if they were leaning over, fell in the well, and yeah. drowned before anyone would be able to get to them proper uh, properly. That could yeah. So that's what I'm thinking with the echo of the voice and everything. It could be, but then again, you guys got to think we're also kind of uh, how should I put it? 
we as a society nowadays, every time we hear something like that, we immediately think, well, and that's because yeah. you know, we've seen so yeah. many tragedies and the ring. Anybody that's ever seen the ring, obviously, you know. Oh, yeah. D trust me, Hair Force. I'm always with skepticals, too. But, you know, it's just it's one of those things that this one I can't I can't fully fathom on certain parts of it. Now, some of it can be explained, but the if everything is as they say it was and there was nobody there, there's been no water to the place in 20 years. It's still a great EVP. What we're, we're just trying to figure out what the EVP is really is. And we, yeah. like I said, it's a residual. There's no doubt in my mind, this residual, we're not going to deal with it, but we're not going to listen to it anymore because uh, I don't like hearing the girl talk. <laughs> it is what I got five daughters. I don't like hearing any, any girl almost crying out for help. So, but understandable. Now, there was a uh, a group on Facebook, and they have graciously allowed me to use this next uh, this next photo. Uh, I'm trying to look to see what their actual name of their group is. I don't think I don't think they ever gave me the name of their group, but uh, they're based out here in Texas as well. And this this is uh, the church. This is a church in Palestine, Texas. Okay. And I'm going to bring this up real quick and get it shared here because this is based, this is a church in Palestine. I guess I got it up twice. Get rid of that one. And this is what they caught when they were doing an investigation. It was a day about 1 p.m., they said, and this is what was caught. Okay. As you can see, the church is falling down around itself pretty much it's it's going to be pretty much condemned pretty soon okay mm -hmm. okay so wandering soul paranormal are you is that is that there we go that thought i invited them in i wanted to make sure that was them wandering soul paranormal they're the ones that caused this now if i'm not mistaken you told me it was 1 p.m right that you uh, thereabouts that you caught it yeah i like that one There you go. I like that saying. That's cool. I think I was in, uh, last week too. But yeah, I mean, same thing. But uh, uh, okay, so they're they're I'm correct. One p.m. And as I zoom in on this, everybody can see. I mean, you look at it; it's quite obvious what the eye is telling you right here. Okay, it looks mm -hmm. like you caught sort of light being in this area right here. Okay, now. Also, what they told me though, there is a, a window down in this general area behind there. Is that the way I understood it? I know I got a little bit of a delay on it, so that's why I'm, I'm waiting for an answer. But if I'm not mistaken, down behind this, it, Wandering Soul can verify there's a, a window over here to the left. Uh, yeah, John, it kind of, it's a window and a door. Okay, so we got a door window down in this area down here. Okay, and at first I looked at it, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm trying to look at it through the skeptic side of it, obviously. There's a window and a door down there. The sun has to be there because we've got the reflect, we've got the actual sunlight coming in right here, unless this particular entity that we're looking at or this this apparition we're looking at is actually emitting light. I lean to more more toward the glare. But as I, as I put this under my, my uh, I tried to look for some sort of substance, if it's an apparition. When, when I put it under my, my different photo software, the Photoshops and the, and the different, uh, uh, the, the, the old director program with Adobe, you go into it and you, there's no substance really to the actual entity itself. Like it's just light. So... Mm -hmm. This also makes me lean toward glare, but the, the problem that I've got with the glare and, and everybody knows glares happen and things happen with glare when it happens, when you actually see it, it goes past this door right here. But now that can happen with a Corona effect too. It can pass it. We've got no legs that I can see. 
we could see the actual box that's right here in the hallway. See, I think you can see the the shape of the leg if it is a figure. Um, you talk about right here, though, with, right? Yeah, with the slight curves. And that that's the main thing that confuses me. Because most of the time, if you see a glare, it's going to be usually like circular or... Yeah, a lot of, a lot of it. But if this uh, is like a long shape, window... If it's a long window, like in a door, you yeah. know, with, if, you would get a little bit more of a glare out of it. But for it, the glare to go past the actual that that upper header, uh, yeah. yeah. So, okay, so John, uh, I think black things would be sh shared out. Okay, which boxes? Like the box at the base right here? Is that what you're talking about? Down here. Because I see that, and I see where the hallway kind of goes up, but this glare coming in, I can't see why it would shade this part out, or, or wash this part out, I should say. And I can't see... Isn't there know, a shadow? Okay, so, so... I think just the lights themselves are confused to me. Like the... Uh, like how the shadows are formed it just feels like the light sources are different than if it came from like a window that's in a door. <laughs> uh, see now hair force kind of got me on that one too. Cause I, I, I'm, I'm like, I talked to the lid, the, the wandering soul on Facebook. I'm like, I, I'm, I want, I know what I want. My eyes want to see and what is drawn to and what I feel about it versus what my software tells me. Cause it, Almost yeah. every other quote-unquote apparition uh, photo that I put on it, I can break that off. And there's like th no electricity there. There's no electricity in the place at all. The only thing that could be that would not be a light entity of some sort, which, once again, if it was a light entity and it actually extended all the way down, why is the box still visible, first of all? And you could see the, the yeah. shadow of the box, like John was saying. You can see a little bit of that shadow of that box. And I uh, oh actually because there's a curve in the doorway to the side. Okay, is there the a curve side. in the doorway to the side you're seeing? It looks like it. Um like uh on the other side. Yeah. Oh over here? Uh yeah. Or over you here. See it? The yeah, the right hand the right hand side. Right hand this side. This side. This side. That little curve right Down there. Down towards the bottom. Oh, yeah. No, yep, I I'm doing saying. symmetry. Yeah, think about symmetry. Yeah. That, you're taking like this. So, uh, that's it over actually. Here. Yes. And. Okay. I'm wondering if that could help create the shape that we're seeing. Uh, um. Okay, so the I windows had a brown film I on. I just them. wish that we had a picture of what the window is. Yeah, yeah. that's the only thing I could that's, say because the. Now, if it's, and I'm thinking back to old schools, you know, where, you know, you've got that door that's got that, that long slender window in it. And invariably, every time you walk past it, there's always sun coming in. No matter what time of day, there's always sun coming in it. And like, like Hair Force says, the sun's a very powerful thing. And could it cause this glare? Yes, it could. But if we're talking about it, we're, the brown film that's on them, is it, was it an actual tint or was it, uh, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's one on the left hair, hair force. I'm thinking that the doorway behind the actual figure is what is causing the figure for the most part. But the only thing I have the issue with still is this part right here. Now, glare can wrap around. Don't get me wrong. Glare can wrap around because of the Corona effect. Okay. But. Mm -hmm. It's another one of those things. Okay, just because it can do it, why would it do it in this particular shape? It may be easily explainable, but something may be causing it to take the shape of what it's of what you're seeing is what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah, I, like like you said, you know, Hair Force said it right. I mean, this is one of those that we put away the tin foil on it, but we might eat the pickle, okay? Because we ain't gonna wrap it up with tin foil, okay? We can't disprove it. We can't prove it. I cannot say that there's any yeah. substance to it because the software I put it on, I can't get any substance other than just light. And that's all I can find is light there. 
see, I'm, I'm just uh, both light people. I, I do like light people more than shadow people, but I'm always iffy on uh, figures created on shadow or light. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's no window on I the right. She, you said there's no window over on yeah. the right. So that one window that's here on the left would be the culprit of the entire thing, which makes sense with, you, with the way that the actual glare on the floor goes. So that window would be... I wish would be, we had a picture of the window. Yeah, well, I, I just have to go off what they're telling me. and uh, Yeah. While I think it's glare, I think maybe something is causing that glare to pr produce something that we're seeing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just because something may not be, uh, I'll I'll take, I'll take it uh, a step further. Just like with the old Bigfoot stuff, you know, people look at it, just because it may not be Bigfoot doesn't mean it isn't something. You know what I mean? This yeah. may not be an actual entity or or an actual apparition, but something may be causing it to give us this effect. It'd be cool to see if we could. Uh, th this is I what I really got... love: going to these places and trying to recreate the. Yeah, let me see. Uh, wandering so uh, let me see. I think I've still got that that uh, that video that you sent me. But if I remember right, that one was not. Let me get to my Facebook here. All right, I'm gonna go find this real quick and get it downloaded, and then I'll put it up. I'll bring it up. I'll add it up, and I'll bring it put it up so that way you guys can see it again Let's see here all right so there we go now we got it i'm gonna bring this up and y'all gonna see them walk through and we'll be able to see better what we're talking about as soon as i get it to download i want it to download download there we go <laughs> now cooperative all right so what i'm gonna do now is I'm going to do this an easy way. I'm going to share the video file. All right. I'm going to remove this down and we'll take a look at it again here in a second. And, and watering so it's better conditions here. So as we were looking, we're just mainly looking at this one particular photo. Okay. So this is what we were just trying to work with. Now we're going to get a little context of what we were looking at. Okay. So let me unshare that one. We're going to share a video file. And. This should be it right here. Not be running a sex trafficking ring out of this. I heard something. You what? You did what? I heard something. Somebody or something? I heard something in that ring when she's looking in there. There's a dick in there too. Oh my god, all the dicks. I can't. I'm scared to go down there. Okay, when she pans back, I can understand why you'd be nervous. That whole building looks like it's ready to fall down around your ears. Yeah, I'm gonna back this up a slight bit. I'm gonna get right back here because I want to pause. Dick in there too. Right when you go down that hallway. <laughs> Bam. Okay. The... What's that? Did you see on you the saw, fridge? You... Yes, I saw on the fridge. Don't bring it up. We don't want our sensors to know anything about it. So, okay, I'm gonna see if I can zoom this in at all. I don't think it'll let me full screen. Let's go full screen. Nah, eh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, it won't let me it won't let me zoom in very well. So as you can see, I think that's the door we've been talking about. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, oh no, you're good. You're good. This was it, it, it's all good because we don't get the actual people in here a lot that have taken the pictures or taken the video. We don't get them to come in and talk their piece, you know. But now that I've got you here, I'm asking you questions more than even I did on, on when we were on chat. So, but uh, as you can see, that it won't let me. Oh, at the okay. end of the hallway, I, do you see the the door, the light coming through the door? So, even even looking at at, the, at this way, yes, the 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 hallway gives you creeps right away. Okay. Because there's a couple spots there that could be shadowy if you want to get right down to it. But as far as what we're looking at at that doorway down there, I now have no doubt in my mind that I think that the picture part of it was probably glare. 
And you said this was in Palestine, right? Yeah, that, I agree okay. on that. Like she said, uh, they said Palestine. So, you know, it's, you can still see the this, this stuff. And I, I don't know, the, this view of it right here makes a lot more sense to me. Now, why it would uh, still yeah. block out that some of this? What's that? Uh, I was going to say, because now seeing the bar that goes across, that can definitely make uh -huh. sense why it makes like a head shape. Yeah. And uh, and the curvature of the leg and such like. You can almost see the curvature of the leg mm -hmm. right there as well. <coughs> yeah, I think, I think Hair Force, I'm, I'm kind of leaning that way. We're I'm going to have to say glare, unfortunately, because I, I bet. If we went in there and got the same conditions, we would be able to recreate that photo, I do believe. that It, I, it may take a little bit of cooperation from the sun, but I, I believe we would be able to re recreate that photo. Now, right now, I can tell you right now, I don't like the looks of the place, first of all. So, I don't know that I would want to be in there overnight. I don't know if you guys have done it or not. I don't know if I'd want to be in there overnight. If I was, I'd be making sure I had a team and we'd be in buddy teams. Okay. So Kevin, you're right. Hair, Hair Force, we're right. We're, we're looking at an optical illusion. Okay. I want to watch the rest of this video again, just so I can see. No, I would not be running a sex trafficking ring out of this. Okay. Now <laughs> I had to ask this question because I think she, I, I think she actually told me now, was there a sex trafficking ring being run out of there at one point? <laughs> Air Force, I, I, I don't know about where you've been living, though. <laughs> there you go. It, it was it was a heavy feeling in there, right? Did you? I just don't. I don't know what is makes me think about this place. But I mean, as you watch you know what? it, you did what? I heard something. Somebody or something. I heard something in that. Thing. I heard something from that way. There's a dick in there. See. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just want to say, her, say it again. <laughs> but no, honestly, I mean, uh, as as you look at it and you watch it, I mean, think about it. What she was saying. Organ music. But there was activities. Hello? So you've got activity in there. I mean. Yeah. That place in that, general just gives me a creepy feeling and whether it's paranormal or um, I'm not sure. It, I'm sure you probably have. You're like three times my age. Uh, thanks. I appreciate looking in, that. <laughs> looking into an abandoned building that like has been used by squatters and um, everything like that automatically gives me the creeps yeah. uh, because you don't know who you're going to find in there. You don't know what crazy is going to be in there. Um, yeah, and, and that you, you place see what, definitely what, feels like. Yeah, you see what she's writing there. I mean, honestly, you had cooking and casserole dishes. I mean, uh, but not food. <laughs> and she heard music, so you got mm -hmm. something going on around there. And I, I'm afraid to know what they were trying to cook. So, yeah, it's so not even anyway. just paranormal that I'd be scared of. It would be the people if there are people in there. Yeah, I mean. Now you gotta realize a lot of people like to say, oh, we're gonna go into this old abandoned place, we're gonna do this one that now you gotta think to yourself now, are you gonna be really more worried about the ghosts or what you might find in there? Or are you gonna be worried about the people that might be sitting there cooking something you don't want to be a part of? Because That's what I'm scared of and going to an abandoned building. They're gonna cause you more harm than any ghost anywhere would. So Everybody, when you go out to do that stuff, just double check stuff. Make sure you're not going into stuff. Don't pull a text and go out and do your own thing at all, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's why I never understood people, uh, like, bragging about going into, like, the Baker Hotel in Mineral Wells. I, t like... That you bring... Okay. You're bringing that up because I would said it, and it was in the 80s. No, I'm bringing it up Nobody because... caught me, all right? <laughs> No, 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 it's not just you. When I was in ninth grade, there was also some kids bragging about going in there with their Boy Scout troop and immediately running out. And I'm like, why would you even go in there? I bet the people well, that you heard in there were probably just. 
you know, they were in there with their Boy Scout group, they probably had somebody with them that knew what they were doing. Ooh. Oh, no. They just went as the kids themselves just going in. At least that's how they described it. Yeah. I'll put that up there. All right. So just so everybody's got that, there's the banner up again. So everybody can see that. If you got anything, send it to that email right there. And I'll see what I can't do about looking at it. Kimberly, please send that short video, whatever you can. If it's too big, let me know. We'll figure out a way to get hold of it. But uh, yeah, that's uh, Wandering Soul. We appreciate you a whole lot for coming in and giving us some more context to this. And I, I, yeah, you told me you had permission. So yeah, we're not, we never doubt what anybody says as far as being, if they're in, in, in a place investigating, they've been given permission by the property owners and they probably signed some sort of waiver saying, Hey, if you get crushed by a falling building, it's on you, not us. So, um, mm -hmm. so, you know, it, now that I know where you guys are at, I may be giving y'all some calls or some, or talking to y'all some more because y'all are right in my backyard too. Cause I'm here in North Texas as well. So, we should have a, uh, we, we may end up getting together here sooner or later. So, but uh, anyway, the the thing with the Baker, like you were talking about with the Baker Hotel in Mineral Wells. I mean, we've all, we, obviously everybody knows myself and Brandy. We've both done the, uh, the Hill House already. And we're talking about trying to do it again in December before they close up for the year. Um, it's a very fun, great place to go to. And there's stuff that would make you kind of look around and think about stuff. Now, did anything big happen to me? No, no, not at all. But I did have a, a team member that got scratched. We did hear, hear a couple of things. We had some interaction with a poker playing ghost, supposedly, you know, but I can vouch that I saw how that worked. I mean, because it literally was reacting to what we were asking. So, I mean, and the only thing I use mm -hmm. a K two meter, meter for, hey, if I'm asking a question, make the K two meter do something. If I'm using a K two meter to go look for a, a EMF field, I'm in the wrong line of business because you need a tri field, which is the one I got. You know the the one that I've got. I've got a tri field meter. I'm looking in all different spectrums. I'm not looking in just EMF because it's just not going to happen. So, uh oh. <laughs> Mm. I think uh, I think I was in ninth grade about that same time there, Air Force. So, yeah, no, Abby wasn't. Abby wasn't in ninth grade then. Where she's only in ninth grade, probably about 2013, 14, thereabouts. Yeah, 14. Uh, she graduated yeah. in 18. I graduated you're down in 2019. Somewhere in, oh, 2019? I thought she graduated. Yeah, okay. That works. And Kimberly, <laughs> Kimberly, you're in South Texas. You're in the Corpus area, if I remember right. So, We'll get together. We'll we'll start talking about this stuff because uh, I would really like to get some more stuff going on around here because I know there's a lot of areas around this area that need to be looked at, and it'd be great to do a couple of live shows just doing the investigation. Hey, Truth, how you doing over there? And uh, it'd be fun to do it. So, but I wish you we were took planning. A you didn't choose the times when I'm not in the U.S. in the U.S. to go. Well. Uh, that's one of those we ain't made it happen yet so we'll have to see what happens from between now and then but so anyway everybody we've spent an hour over an hour just on those two or three things right there so at least it was newer stuff and this first in-depth evp we've actually done other than what i caught from the the different shows from doing all of the editing before but we are gonna have to start doing more and now next week i've been trying to get toward where we do some more uh location based like what we did with Gettysburg and what we did with the El Paso High School last week. Uh, I'm trying to do a little bit more like that, but we're also gonna start looking at probably some uh old folklore type stuff like uh some let's talk about some curses, you know, but we'll look at the the stuff that will lead up the evidence to believing about the curses. We may talk about King Tut, but there's other there's other curses out there. Anybody that's from South Texas I, I know a lot those, about curses. Yeah, Marie Laveau, you know, Marie Laveau all day long. I live with a Romanian and a Russian. Yeah, you, <laughs> you tell Danny, you tell Danny, she starts putting up daggum curses on people. I'm coming no. over there myself. I I told you about, uh, I just mentioned the crazy neighbors, but she's saying we need to get some garlic, cut it in half and put crosses around the doors. And I'm like, that keeps away vampires. And she's like, no, it's keep away 
all bad energy and curses. Okay. So she <laughs> she actually believes that she even brought out her uh, her rosary. Oh wow. Okay. So I'm not Catholic. So, so yeah, I don't. I should also tell you. Uh, uh, I'll, she's not Catholic either. She's Orthodox. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you in a bit though that we actually had uh this possibly paranormal thing. And that's why she brought out her razory. Thanks, Air Force. I really don't want to see any curses on it. Well, yeah, no, I, trust me. There's been a couple of shows I've been on. We've tried to make the chat blush. So <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, I appreciate everybody being here. Tune us in next week. I'll try and shoot out a, uh, uh, a short video one day this week and uh, try and give you a heads up of what's coming. Hey, if y'all need anything, you know where to find us. Truth or tinfoil at gmail.com. Till next week, you guys have fun. Bye. Thank you.